Welcome to Renowned Secrets, the channel where we uncover the secret stories of extraordinary individuals around the world. Imagine what your life would be like if you couldn't see, hear, or speak. Today I'll talk about a woman who lost her sight, hearing, and speech at the age of 19 months and who later became one of the 100 famous people of the 20th century. She is the indomitable woman Helen Keller. Watch the full video to know the miracle of how she overcame the endless darkness. Many of you will have heard of Helen Keller as an author, political activist, lecturer but her life is a wonder that will surprise you. Her life was full of sorrow and equally inspiring to others. Her journey is nothing short of miraculous, a story that encompasses the weird, the motivation, and the boundless inspiration that she has left behind for generations to come. It was June 27, 1880 Helen Keller was born in Tuscumbia, a nice city in the state of Alabama, USA. Her full name is Helen Adams Keller. Her father's name is Arthur Henley Keller and mother is Catherine Everett Keller. Her family lived on a homestead, Ivy Green that Helen's paternal grandfather had built decades earlier. She had four siblings, two full siblings and two older half-siblings from her father's first marriage. Her childhood was not normal like any other ten children. Helen contracted an unknown illness and her life took an unexpected turn when she lost her sight, hearing and speaking at just 19 months old. If you can truly understand the suffering of such a child, you can't hold back the tears. Her behavior became highly erratic. She would kick and scream when she was angry, and giggle uncontrollably when she was happy. Her relatives were so concerned that they even considered sending her to an institution. However, the truth was that Helen's behavior was not a sign of mental illness. It was simply a manifestation of her frustration at not being able to communicate. She could not hear or see, and she could not understand the conversations that were going on around her. This made her feel isolated and alone. Helen's erratic behavior was a cry for help. She was desperate to be understood, and she was using her only means of communication to express her frustration. Once she was able to communicate, her behavior improved dramatically. Helen was a highly intelligent child, and she quickly realized that she was different from other children. In an attempt to communicate, Helen began to develop her own system of gestures and signs. She also created a kind of sign language with her friend Marshall Washington. By the time she was seven years old, they had already made up over 60 signs to communicate each other. The world became a dark and silent place for her, but little did she know the miracles that awaited her. Helen's early life was marked by isolation, a peculiar existence in a world of silence. Yet, through the intervention of Anne Sullivan, a remarkable teacher, a miracle began to unfold. And, herself a visually impaired individual, saw the potential within Helen and became her guiding light. Through a unique method of finger spelling into Helen's hand, a whole new world opened up. The first word Helen learned was water and this is the water pump where Helen first learns to talk. Can you imagine the profound and surreal experience it must have been for her to grasp the concept of language, to bridge the gap between the silence she had known and the vibrant world of communication? Helen's journey was filled with countless moments that could only be described as weird and awe-inspiring. She defied societal expectations, pushed beyond her perceived limitations, and immersed herself in education. Despite her disabilities, Helen became the first deaf-blind person to earn a Bachelor of Arts degree. Her academic achievements were nothing short of remarkable, a testament to her unwavering determination. But Helen's impact extended far beyond her personal triumphs. She became a passionate advocate for the rights of individuals with disabilities, challenging social norms and paving the way for greater inclusivity and accessibility. 
Helen Keller once said, the only thing worse than being blind is having sight but no vision. These words encapsulate her motivation and unwavering spirit. She didn't allow her physical limitations to define her. Instead, she saw a world of possibilities, encouraging us all to embrace our own vision and rise above any challenges that come our way. Helen Keller was in love with a man named Peter Fagan who was working as her secretary, but society didn't believe that women with disabilities should marry. They were secretly engaged, but Helen's family found out and forbid them from getting married. Never marrying Helen expressed regret for this, once saying, if I could see, I would marry first of all. Helen Keller's life story is a testament to the power of the human spirit, the strength that lies within us all. It is a reminder that miracles can happen, even in the face of the most peculiar circumstances. Her journey serves as a wellspring of inspiration for anyone facing adversity, proving that with determination, resilience, and a burning passion for life, we can achieve greatness. Helen Keller's greatest find in life was her teacher, and Sullivan was a true genius. She was the one who helped Helen Keller out of darkness and into a wonderful life. They were close for 49 years. Helen was always by the teacher's side on his deathbed and was holding on to Helen's hand when she died in 1936. Even today, they are still together Helen's ashes being placed next to Anne's, after she died peacefully in his sleep in 1968. Helen worked for the American Foundation for the Blind, AFB, from 1924 until 1968. During this time, she toured the United States and traveled to 35 countries around the globe advocating for those with vision loss. Keller was a prolific author, writing 14 books and hundreds of speeches and essays on topics. She was named one of Time Magazine's 100 Most Important People of the 20th Century. Her life story was made into a film in 1959, named The Miracle Worker. Everyone should watch this movie. Her birthplace has been designated and preserved as a National Historic Landmark. Since 1954 it has been operated as a house museum and sponsors an annual Helen Keller Day. Some of the famous quotes of Helen Keller are Keep your face to the sunshine and you cannot see the shadows. The best and most beautiful things in the world cannot be seen or even touched, they must be felt with the heart. Knowledge is love, light and vision. I would rather walk with a friend in the dark than alone in the light. So, let's carry forward the legacy of Helen Keller, embracing her story as a symbol of hope and empowerment. People should treat people with disabilities with the same respect that they treat everyone else. Let her be a constant reminder that no obstacle is insurmountable and that within each of us lies the potential to make a positive impact in the world. Helen's biography can't be concluded by telling it in a video. Her life is filled with sadness and inspiration. You can read the books written by her to know those incredible and shocking events. I have mentioned the book's link in the description box below. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed uncovering the secret stories of legends, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. Feel free to share your thoughts and comments below. Let's keep exploring the extraordinary together.